Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I'm going to talk about uh, the Lee instruction. Lee is called a load effective address uh, in the assembly world. I put two to EAX, three to EBX. What is the meaning of Lee something and then another register in this case? You, this is called the scaling factor. So you take the scaling factor and then you multiply it by EBX. Right, the content of EBX, and then you add it with EAX, okay? This particular expression is what Lee stands for, okay? So there are some constraints on what value can you plug it in instead of four. I will, I will talk about it in a moment, but for now, this is basically it. So in this case, four times three is 12, 12 plus two is 14. So EBX must have 14, which I'm going to pass to my exit call. This is exit system call, and uh, the argument EBX is already set it to 14. So let's see whether we get 14 from the, yeah, we got 14. Okay, let's make some changes. What if I put one here? Then in this case, it's one times EBX is just EBX is basically three, three plus two, five. So we should be getting five. So let me compile and we'll check it out whether, yeah, it's what we expected. One into EBX is EBX is three, three plus two is five. But if you if you don't put anything here, okay, let's do that as well, we get five. So if you don't put anything, the scalar value is one, okay? I will write it here. If you see your assembly code has no value here, you have to assume here one, okay? All right, why do we need Lee instruction? Lee instruction is needed for fast computation of arithmetic expressions. As you can see here, we are avoiding memory reference. We are only using register and um, the Lee ins instruction automates this process. Like in this case, for example, one times EBX plus EAX is automatically computed and moved to EBX without using add multiply instructions. So that is the main benefit of Lee. And uh, let me change this to some other constant scalar. Okay, let me put five here and I'll show you that won't work. You see here, the scalar factors are one, two, four, or eight. This is just based on the size of the data type. In C language, the integer types can be, you know, character, short, unsigned, and long. So these are the typical uh, sizes for integer types. That is the reason why five is not accepted, okay? So we can try eight, it should work. So it means eight times EVX is 24, 24 plus two, 26, okay? Yeah, 26, okay. And now we go to the next step and put some constants in the front. Let's say put two, what will happen in this case is that that constant will be added, okay, to the result. So let me write it an expression for you. So it's eight times, this is eight times EBX plus EAX plus two, okay, is the meaning of this. If there is no constant here, we put zero. That is the important point I would like to clarify. Okay, let's see what the output output for the case when it is two. Eight times EBX is 24, 24 plus two, 26, 28. So we should get 28 in this case. Let's try and confirm. Yeah, you get 28. Okay, so that's basically it. How to use Lee. You have to decide um, the scaling factor and whatever register you have here and here, and then the constant you would like to add and that goes into the EBX register in this case, okay? So Lee is a fast way to do certain form of arithmetic expressions, okay? X plus some multiple times Y. If you have to compute something like that, you can use the Lee to do that job, okay? So let's see whether if we replace Lee by Mu, what will happen? Let's, let's get rid of the two, we don't need this. I'm going to argue this is going to crash because Mu expects uh, an address here and A times EBX plus EAX is not necessarily a valid address. So you will get a segmentation for it. Let me show you now why it is crashing. It will compile successfully, but when you link, it will also work. But when you run it, of course, you see here, it got a segmentation fault. That is because the address 28, let's see what was the address. In this case, it was A times EBX, which is 24, 24 plus two 26 is not a valid address, so it crashed, okay? So you can't substitute Lee by move, just, just to be clear. Okay, all right, uh, that's basically it. Thank you for your attention.